it's lit. Fire. <laughs> it's a joke about my outfit. <laughs> okay, welcome, welcome. We are back in the kitchen today. We're gonna make cauliflower fried rice, woo! We love fried rice, it's our favorite thing to go and get at the hibachi, hibachi, is that what it's called? Obviously, when we go there, it's like a ton of butter and a ton of, this is gonna be extra special today because this is vegan and it's super healthy. So the base of today's meal is cauliflower as the actual rice, which is super easy to make cauliflower rice. If you've never done it, I got you. I will help you guys. You're just gonna need a food processor or a blender. If you don't have a big blender, if you have just a magic bullet, you can still do it. Use like, um, do it in, in just smaller batches instead. We're gonna make cauliflower rice with red onions, carrots, cabbage, yellow and green bell pepper, mushrooms, they're so good, snap peas, spinach, zucchini, and then we're gonna season it well enough that it's gonna taste just like rice without the carbs. To start, I'm gonna use a big knife like this so that I'm gonna be able to get all of the little pieces of the cauliflower into a small, batch so we can blend it and it'll be like rice right 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 okay let's just kind of begin to basically take the stem part off saw that baby off okay and now i'm gonna peel the leaves back a little bit more just so i can get a better view of the actual stem parts and then i'm gonna do it one piece at a time so i've got a piece here and then as you start to do this, you'll start to uncover more parts of the stems. That'll make it easier for you to cut it apart. Wow. <laughs> Are you filming that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now that we're done photographing, just kidding. He just flipped me off, guys. He just flipped me off. We can talk about this later. <laughs> just kidding. Um, so now we're gonna transport it over to the food processor. But first, this quick commercial break. Iron. Mushrooms. Mushrooms are here to serve you. They're a great source of iron, they're a great source of protein, and they're a great meat replacement without any of the processed soy, wheat, corn that you find in lots of fake vegan meat. Hey, mushrooms. So now it's time to transfer all of the cauliflower into the food processor. So like I said, if you don't have a big food processor like this nine cupper, you can use a small, blender and just do it a little at a time. I'm even gonna do a little at a time so I can show you guys because I made cauliflower rice before and I blended it so much that it basically was like cauliflower alfredo sauce and you don't want that. Unless you do want that and then go for it. Okay, here we go. So we're just gonna pulse it until you'll start to see. And then I'm gonna take these big chunks that big chunk out because it's not pulsing the way that the others are but see how it's really cutting down into this rice mixture business okay and let's check it out brilliant brilliante looks beautiful okay so let's get this transferred over to a bowl so check it out guys up close Looks real ricey, if I do say so myself. While we let the cauliflower rice sit for a little bit, we make the cameraman do the dishes. <laughs> You're laughing, I'm serious. You have to wash them because I did the work. Okay, so now we're moving on to the um, station where we're actually gonna make the rice and put it in the wok. We're gonna walk over to the wok. 
I'm bad at jokes. Basically at home, use a, the biggest pan that you have to make the cauliflower rice. I'm gonna use this wok that I have had um, from my mother from a long time ago. But if you don't have a wok that's like as big as that and pro fish, you can just use a big pan. So what we're gonna use to season the cauliflower rice and top the cauliflower rice is as follows. Rice vinegar, soy sauce, salt, ginger powder, <laughs> sesame seeds. <laughs> I recycle. And then these are the toppings that we're gonna put on top. We've got basil, we've got green onions, and then we're gonna squeeze lime on top when we're done. I'm gonna start with garlic in the in the wok because garlic makes everything taste bomb, especially this rice, am I right? Honestly, everything you do, put more garlic. That's my <laughs> quote of the day. We're gonna cook with water because we have been trying to cut back on oil intake because oil has a lot of cholesterol in it. And the thing about olive oil is like, uh, it's really hard to get authentic olive oil because most of it is blends and then they bottle it in a bottle that says 100% pure olive oil. But unfortunately, the FDA is not on our side, folks. And if you don't know that by now, I can recommend you some books and documentaries to read about how we know that the FDA is not on our side. That being said, oil's bad. So we're gonna use water. Here we go. So I've got the water going. I'm gonna pour a gar little garlic in there. And then I'm gonna do the uh, red onions. I'm gonna add the carrots. Bell pepper. So I put all of the things that are gonna take the longest to cook in there first. Now that the stuff that cooks the longest is already cooked, we are gonna put a little more water in there because if you come on over, you'll see that all of those things when cooking, they absorb a lot of the water. So they're kind of starting to stick. So we're gonna add some more water and then we're gonna add the rice. Here we go. It's time to do the snap peas and the spinach. Zucchini, the mushrooms, the cabbage, and now let's do the seasoning. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of the ginger, the ground ginger. Oh no. Okay, there we go, a teaspoon. A tablespoon of rice vinegar. I don't actually know why we're putting that in there, it just makes it better. And then two tablespoons of soy sauce. One. Two. Wow, look at all those seasonings and all that stuff in there. Looks so good. So let's go ahead and give it a good mix around. Oh wow. Looks like we're in for a treat tonight. So now that I've mixed it, I'm gonna add another tablespoon of soy sauce. So in total, that was three tablespoons of soy sauce, okay? Okay. So we're gonna let that chill for a little bit. It needs some space. No more. It's done, the rice is done. It only took like three minutes, but like I said, this wok is really amazing to have. If you don't have a wok like that, it could take about 10 minutes, but I'm serious guys, get a wok because you can use it for literally anything. So click the link up here if you wanna order one from Amazon and get a good deal. This is what it's looking like right now. It's still very bubbly, but um, I mean, look at that. It looks like fried rice without the carbohydrates from actual rice. Like if you seriously could eat like three servings of this and tell me that you're not full, then I mean, there might be something actually wrong with your tummy because this is so, like this type of food is so filling and yet you're really just eating vegetables. How could it be better than that? Here's what we're gonna do now that we're done. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some of these green onions on top. You're gonna, I'm gonna put some basil on top. I got my sesame seeds finally. It's time for those, gonna toss those on top and put a little lime in there and check it out guys.
cauliflower fried rice. It looks really good. Should we try it? Okay, let's try it. And then if you like spicy stuff, add sriracha, add chili paste, whatever you want to do to make your night, you know? This is your life. How do we do this every week? It's so good. Bye. Just kidding. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for enjoying this amazing experience. I hope you tried it at home. If you try it, please, 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 we're always taking feedback. Let us know what worked, what didn't. Talk to us, let's chat. Let's have a toast to cauliflower fried rice. We'll see you guys next week on Avocado Mama. I'm lit. <laughs>